Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese EUV and quantum chip. After the implementation of the US chip rules, Chinese people began to pay attention to the semiconductor industry. Major universities also included integrated circuits as a first-level discipline. Chinese companies began to fully participate in technology research and development. The public also had a clearer view of the entire industry cognition. The complexity of the EUV lithography machine is beyond imagination, which can be seen from a few data. The EUV lithography machine uses 100,000 parts, and there are 5,000 suppliers behind it. As a manufacturer, ASML has only 10% of its own technology. As the core equipment of high-end chip manufacturing, EUV lithography machine is currently only manufactured by ASML in the Netherlands. The entry threshold of the lithography machine industry is very high. If you want to gain a firm foothold in the industry, you not only need to invest a lot of manpower and material resources, but also need long-term accumulation and precipitation. Looking at the world, only four companies have the mass production capacity of lithography machines. They are ASML in the Netherlands, Nikon in Japan, Canon in Japan and Shanghai Microelectronics in China. These companies can produce complete lithography equipment, but the process technology is very different. At present, only ASML has achieved mass production of the top EUV lithography machine. Affected by the relevant restrictions in the United States, China cannot obtain any one, which has also caused the top manufacturing process to be stuck at 14 nanometers, so it is urgent to start the self-reliance of equipment. This means that the EUV lithography machine is a product of the world's top technology, and it cannot be built by a certain company with a leading technology. Harbin Institute of Technology will actively form a team to participate in technological breakthroughs. Recently, the official announced the research results of a high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer. Three consecutive meritorious service, EUV lithography machine core technology connection breakthrough, is it enough for Europe and the United States to compromise? With more than 100,000 parts and components, more than 20 countries provide core technologies to assemble the EUV lithography machine. However, the Chinese and American technology systems have penetrated a lot, and the independent technology is less than 10%. It can be said that ASML cannot achieve autonomy at all, which has also caused China to lose its right to operate independently, which is also the main reason why it cannot ship to the Chinese market. For Chinese companies, if they want to realize the localization of EUV lithography machines, they still have to rely on the global supply chain. It is impossible for all over 100,000 parts to be self-made. Even if we can, we don't have enough time to wait. Therefore, the first task is to get rid of the dependence on Hanmai technology. European countries already have corresponding advanced technologies to contain, such as Huawei 5G, quantum computers, etc., but the United States is still thinking of ways to sanction China. Although there is an urgent need for EUV lithography machines at this stage, the country still adopts the continue to advance approach to research and development progress. At present, there are only four companies in the world that can manufacture lithography machines, namely ASML in the Netherlands, Canon and Nikon in Japan, and Shanghai Microelectronics in China. However, the level of mass production in China is only 90 nanometers, which is not enough to maintain the existing technology the development of the industry, and the two Japanese companies can only achieve the shipment of low-end lithography machines, while ASML completely monopolizes the mid- to high-end lithography equipment market. In view of the continuous upgrading of chip regulations, even after five years, the possibility of obtaining EUV lithography machines is very small, 
so we can only pin our hopes on independent research and development, and Harbin Institute of Technology has become a key factor in this process. Just recently, Harbin Institute of Technology once again officially announced the good news, breaking through the high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer technology, which has been proven to be applied to the integrated development and performance testing of lithography machine prototypes between 350 nanometers to 28 nanometers processes. In addition, the person in charge also stated, the breakthrough of this technology will provide an important basic theory for the subsequent breakthrough of 7 nanometers and below lithography machine nodes. You must know that this is already the third time that Harbin Institute of Technology has achieved meritorious service. It has also broken through the EUV light source technology before, and has achieved the same level as ASML. With outstanding contributions and successive breakthroughs in core technologies, can European and American countries compromise? Can China achieve EUV lithography machine autonomy? The latest breakthrough, high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer, technology is mainly for measurement problems in the field of high-end equipment. Both the accuracy and accuracy of lasers need to be used. It is the core application technology of EUV lithography machines. It has been passed down a long time ago. There are corresponding signs, and now the official announcement of Harbin Institute of Technology means that this technology has achieved a breakthrough. The EUV lithography machine is not unique to ASML. It can be said that it is a product of the wisdom of all mankind. However, because of the use of Hanmei's technology, it has been added to the restricted category. This is extremely unfair to the global market. The chain reaction of self-willedness has gradually emerged, and a beautification of technology has become an international mainstream trend. The laser technology, double workpiece stage, laser interferometer, and other technologies made by Harbin Institute of Technology are basically the core technologies involved in the United States. If they can be effectively applied, they can be restrained from the technical level. China already has it sets the conditions for people to equivalently exchange. After the birth of Huawei's 5G, European countries didn't care about the backwardness of technology at all, and cooperated with Huawei in an all-round way. The reason why they unilaterally interrupted the cooperation later was because the United States was behind the scenes. Generally speaking, as long as our own technology is strong, Europe it is easy for the country to compromise, and the reason lies in the United States. Fortunately, the pace of domestic scientific research has already taken a step forward. The lithography machine industry ecology is important, but it is not all. At present, China has made major breakthroughs in the research and development of disruptive technologies. Once the technology is successfully commercialized, it is difficult for European and American countries not to compromise. At present, the quantum chip production line has been put into production, and the finished, Wukong, quantum chip has entered the debugging stage. The strongest quantum computer in China will be born later. The photonic chip production line will also be put into production in 2023. The technological advantages of Europe and the United States are no longer obvious. Regarding this what do you think?